so the first one you did with him, though, what was that like? You know what I'm saying? Like, what was that experience for you when oh, man, you was, was rocking? You I was, was already so doing... geek, man, to just be in a real studio and yeah. and actually like have. Re- I mean, we lived in there. Like, Where was it at? Over off of Franklin Street in India and in Elkhart. Okay. And uh, yeah, we lived in there, man, for like a few months. Big boy studio. Yeah, you know, what I mean? yeah, big boy. Shit was, 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 was like studio. church. Shout out KG uh, from BSC because, like, yeah, he, like, mixed a lot of the album and shit. Nice, we sat nice, in there for nice. hours upon hours. And, uh, yeah. So did you call him and was like, yo, let's let's rock a track? And it was just came out well, so raw? Like, how'd that happen? Like, like I said, we had recorded the one with uh, John and them there. And me and Labasi had already talked about back in the day about working together and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, he was one day he was sitting there just running through some of his beats, and I, he was wanting to get some tests on vocals and shit. So nice. I went in there and started spitting shit, and then I basically took a bunch of verses I had, put them together to the beats he had and shit. Nice, and nice, nice. Grabbed a couple feet, one from Crook. Uh, had my brother on the album. Shout out yeah. Gap Mouth. Uh, and yeah, it just went from there, man. Like uh, the, at Super Sounds, they said uh, the first week of my sales was uh, I topped like. Uh, what was out at the time? Lute, one, uh, Luda's album was one of them. Yeah, 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 Wu-Tang, yeah. Wu-Tang, the double disc was one of them. But yeah, Roger from Super Sound. Local Love was uh, local love yeah, was Yeah, I was like, it was heavy back, back there. It's like, the first, now, the first time that you recorded the song with him, Big Boy Studio mm-hmm. and shit, you know what I'm saying? What was that experience like for you? Because this is brand new. That, Set the scene. He was, Sid was going hard then with, I wasn't even really rapping then. Remember, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. He just pulled me. I was like, all right, bet. And uh, yeah, and my first is garbage. <laughs> it <laughs> always is. I mean, it's just, you know, I was just have well, that I, album yeah. I look back. No, in all honesty, that's still the most requested album I get. Like, I get the same you, shit. You know what man? I'm saying? I know. Like, it's bro, like, no, I ain't tragedy. Doing this shit. Same shit. <laughs> like, yo. no, yeah, man, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you're going to have to uh, borrow that shit from somebody else mm-hmm. or something, man. But, but the <laughs> experience for you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, what was the dope, excitement? That was like a real studio, man. The soundboard and the booth and everything. Yeah, it was dope. Yeah. Love, man. That's love. As far as the shows, like, uh, I actually started off like opening for some of the rock bands and shit. Well, f- first of all, DJ Bug at halftime used to let me get a uh, like go up in the DJ booth and rap over my CD like karaoke yeah, yeah, type yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. But then uh, one time, my dude Jason Curtis, owner of Five Star Bar, uh, he was with a band called Furious George, and uh, they used to do shows at halftime all the time. He's and like, let you rock yeah, and shit. Yeah, he was like, yeah, you want to no, get up there in one of our man. sets or whatever. And that's what's up. I got up there the first time and rocked it. Now, it, as y'all continue to keep building, you know what I'm saying, making music together and forming the actual group, when was the first actual show besides the birthday party joint, you know what I'm saying, but when was the first public-like show for Sin and Crook? Like, what was the the, the first one, if you the, can remember? Uh, the resume, album release party. Mm-hmm. The uh, resume. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. When we did the album release party at uh, halftime for that, and that was before like we started messing with the radio station and all that. Yeah, that was yeah, just yeah, yeah, us. yeah. Yeah, uh, I was I was out in Mishawaka and I uh, ended up working with Breon Ward. Remember Breon Ward? Hell Shout yeah. out Breon. Yeah, yes, sir. At Hacienda, and he introduced me to Strict Nine. And yeah, then that was oh, that was then, you. Yeah, and then I uh, oh shit, and I then I uh, got with Sin. But hey, man, I'm messing with these dudes out in South. You know what I mean? Yeah, come out yeah, here, and we started yeah. getting working with Strict Nine, and that's when we made. The orientation. I made some of the beats. He made mm. some the of the resume. beats. The resume. My bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The resume. Yeah. yeah. What was the excitement like performing at the at the 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 party though? Like, what was the? It was the first prominent show as the group. Like, oh, what was we the excitement like? Crazy for that one. Did man. you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I knew y'all yeah. fucking yeah. rehearsed. Oh, man. Oh, oh, I fucking dude, knew. I can, you can tell oh, that oh, shit, that. man. Yeah. You could tell that Rehearsal shit. Rehearsal is key. This, I, especially I, when you're going live. Like, if you rapping live yeah, and you no, ain't got no backup tracks and all that, like, yeah, you want to rehearse And to sure. give y'all some flowers, like, on some real shit, like, I always respected the grind. And you guys always put on an actual fucking show. Appreciate it. And that's why, I, and I never had, had the opportunity to ask you, like, y'all fucking rehearsing this shit, you oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you could tell because, like, other people would come on, you know what I'm saying, that was quote unquote the shit or hot or whatever like that. But the show performance it would lack in my opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I always prided myself on being a showman. So when I seen y'all get up and rock, man, I was I could always appreciate the fact that y'all really got it in. Y'all would go that back and forth shit oh, yeah. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometime, you know That's what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that back and forth shit from yeah. you spit, he spit, that shit. Mm-hmm. Man, crazy, man. Yeah. So as the shit start getting into more of the mode, let me ask you this question, my man. Go ahead. Um, what was the first prominent show where you were like, you know what? 
we really got something here. Like this shit is really fucking rocking. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, man! I Great mean, question, yeah. One that we were like, I would say, well, mine, I would say, like we did the, like the halftime show when like they stopped letting people in. Beautiful. It was the first right, yeah. radio show where Mike yeah. Jacks was there live. Yeah, hell yeah. And it was shout just, out Mike Jacks. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Jacks. The mayor, Real sure. talk, the yeah, mayor, man. Seven, God, but, we miss him. But when they said that, like fire marshals were coming, it's like, damn, dude. We that's were like, what's that's, up, man. You know what I mean? I we felt I was really annoyed because yeah. yeah. that was our first show with the radio. And uh, people don't realize, like, that was I was paying for all that uh, advertisement and all yeah, that. Yeah, man. And, like, at halftime, people weren't trying to pay $5 a show. You True. You know what I'm saying? And we we had to charge ten, 10. was outrageous sometimes and we literally, too. Yeah. I remember specifically this group of females came up. They walked in. They seen the cover. They're like ten dollars for halftime. Fuck that. We ain't coming to blah blah blah. They left. And I was. <laughs> I remember telling my manager, shout out Justin May, you my man May, you uh. I was telling okay. my manager, I was like, bro, we might have to drop the price. He's like, man, we can't afford to. We gotta yeah, be able to pay this pay radio. This you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, man, it wasn't a half hour later. Them same bitches. Females, my bad. Shout out to the bitches. Yeah, 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 yeah. They was in line waiting. The line was literally wrapped around the corner, and they Sick started doing it. one in and one out. If yeah. you if you went outside, yeah. you yeah, had to yeah, pay yeah, to yeah. get back in. We call that fire marshal shit. We you know broke the yeah. attendance record. It was like four hundred and something people, and it's only supposed to hold like one seventy five yeah. at halftime. It was beautiful. Just, it was, it was dope, like dope, Furious dope, George dope. when we did the Furious Fest. They had about four hundred, but that was an indoor and outdoor. Yeah, yeah, event, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had like four hundred in, indoors in that bitch yeah. in and out. And, now yeah. let me ask you this. Uh, what was the actual camaraderie that you felt that you, you know what I'm saying, would seek out and meet other people, you know, other artists and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? What was the first camaraderie that you joined in with, kind of clicked up with, you know what I'm saying, as far as artistry? Because you know, there was a bunch of us back then. Right. Uh, well, like I said, for me, it was like Love and Hate, Labasi, yeah. uh, KG, and then when we started doing stuff together, like he said, he linked up with, uh, Breon, seven star, seven star strict, battles, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then, yeah. Mentality. Uh, uh, lunatic. Like when I started working with him a lot or whatever, he already knew a lot of y'all yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what Jay, I mean? so, yeah. 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 Well, he was click 47 type joint. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And they was, they came, they was all mo shine and shit. Yeah, yeah. So they kind of clicked in like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But man, like what was the actual, uh, crook? Let me ask you this. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. What was the actual feeling like, um, as far as in, because we was young back then, obviously, oh, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. What was the ego like for you a little bit? Uh, we always like to stay humble. Like, like uh, never, like, all up in your face about it. Kind of just let the sh performer speak for itself. Damn right. You know yeah, what I mean? We, go, yeah. we, we post right. up, have a beer. We sit there, shit, just us or whoever's with us. Chill with it, yeah. Go up there and let loose, man. And then, yeah, hell You know yeah. what I mean? Hell like, yeah. in all honesty, that. like, that's one thing. Like, our very first TV interview, radio interview, like, uh, first time we did Al Boogie, shout out Al shout Boogie. Shout out Al yeah. Boogie, <laughs> man. I love Al Toby Boogie. Toby T, like first time we did Michigan. Love Toby, James. man. Like love we just brought in our whole local collection. Like here's yeah, some other cats, we you know what I'm saying? Like, we had your guys' shit up really? there. Really? Like, I didn't see that shit. Yeah, we had everybody. Like, we you know Boogie like, still got that no, some of that shit. Yeah, man, he's still, it was Toby's one where he brought all the shit. Give me my footage, bro. I love you, That shit's amazing. But Toby's was the one where we did that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we did the same thing. But yeah, Toby's, he brought every local CD. See, yeah. was just no a, shit, all, you know what I mean. But Boogie, man, like we, we shouted a lot of people out too. We just because we actually did more shows with Boogie. We did a couple with him. We yeah, did yeah, that yeah, one yeah, with yeah. Toby, yeah. Toby showed up in his scrubs from the hospital. I was like, you gonna change? Or you <laughs> that's that's right? the grind, yo. <laughs> Shout out to fucking Toby. Yes, See, I gotta get Toby oh, on shit. the show, yo. I got to get Toby on the show, how, man. Right there tells you how old all of us are. <laughs> right, yeah, man. no yeah, shit, yo. These newer cats probably don't know who we no even talking shit. about. I'm like, still 22, man. Holla yeah, at your yeah, boy, yeah. man. Shit, holla at me. But as, as, as the situation started getting grinding and, and getting bigger, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> what was the first actual show that you discovered that you you possibly have people that fuck with y'all, like on some real, real fan shit, you know what I'm saying? Autograph shit. Like, we used to really get it in back in the day. The scene oh, yeah. back then was different yeah. right. than it is now, yeah, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. What was the, the experience like for that situation? It's, I, I say, I don't know, our first opening? It seemed like... Yeah, but it seemed like out of town you get oh, love. Oh my love! Yeah, like come on, come to you like like, you're something, yeah. like you're something. You know what I mean? Damn, they right. ain't looking at you like your cousin. Yeah, your friend, they, they yeah. know you're from high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. they yeah, just yeah, listening yeah, to the so. music, watching your performance. Go off that. Yeah. But True. like when I when I felt like 
we got a shot of doing this when we got our first opening act. Like we opened for Ice T. Love uh, Ice T. Ice T. LC One was there, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The one that got us the show. Shout, Shout out to Lay Chips, my up, dog, Larry? man. Yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was Ice T, Kid Capri, or no, it was just Ice T. Was Ice T? Yeah. 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 That's cold, man. And yeah, the, the that was our first big opener. Yeah, yeah. The story behind that was dope. What was the venue at? Where was it at? Pierre's in Fort Wayne. Love Pierre's. And then show. our next one there was Rakim, Kid Capri, and Brother Ali. Mm. That was dope. Like that was I know that dope. was dope as fuck for that you, yo. I was starstruck as shit. Yeah, I said that was probably the first one Crook got starstruck. I, 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 yeah, because some man, of them. Man, it's the God, God, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kid Capri. And Rock yeah. Him. Yeah, shout out Rock, Rock yeah, Him. Yeah, man, he was so humble. So humble. Cool like and that. And Brother yeah. Ali. Yeah. That dude. We're like, crowd with us yeah, watching. Saying, we're like watching right here. We look back. There's brother Ali just in the crowd. Like, <laughs> That's what's yeah, up, man. Right like, oh, That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. What was the experience like when you first got the call to actually uh, perform with these uh, these opening acts? We talking about Ice T, Rock Kim. These I, are fucking OG legends oh, for real. Bro. I was geek, Those. man. I mean, these are people I, that inspired me to do this shit. Yeah. Uh, who I grew up listening to. So yeah, I was just geek. Like yeah. I didn't even care about. And I ain't never really cared about like the fame, nothing like that. I just like doing the music and to yeah, be able to yeah, 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 say yeah. I shared the stage with some yeah. of the cats we've shared with. True. So yeah, I was just happy for the opportunity. Or to hear like a name like that, y'all rock that shit. Like. And then yeah, like for him to come up to us at the show was like, <laughs> that yo, was that's everything. Yeah, yo. like that shit was high. Like that hey. was fucking everything, man. I ain't gonna lie, I was starstruck with Ice T because like he after the show he's like, hey, that shit was hot, and I just tried to play cool. Like yeah, I appreciate the love. Yeah. <laughs> he, he turned around, yeah, you yeah, like yes. kept it pushing. Like that's that's all I needed, right? Started there. to focus on him and Coco stand next to him you yeah hell no, yeah no, shout no. out to coco <laughs> <Just> man <laughs> good lord man he had coco there too oh yeah lc's <laughs> wife and her took a picture lc yeah. got a picture that's, that's one of the few yeah, artists that we didn't get a picture with with ice t yeah like yeah. ice t rick ross we didn't get one with uh Twist, I still ain't got one with done did. I don't know. What how was the Rick Rod? The Rick Rod was that Century Center? Yeah, that yeah. was the Block yeah, yeah, yeah. Monsters. Uh, Jay Martin was on the bill, October London now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, October London. Who else was on that bill? Uh, Block Monsters, us? I don't remember, man. Uh, I remember every county. Young Monk was Joe on county it, but I don't remember if he had yes. the wall. Yes. And yes. when Ross and them got out there, they all just lit up blunts. Yeah. And, then all, and I'm like, that was the first time when I seen that. Like, yeah. Yeah. got away with it like that like yeah. all these <laughs> what, was, what was the experience for you knowing you was open enough for Rick Ross and shit like what was that situation like you want to tell him <laughs> tell him <laughs> fucking I, I, tell I, him I, I feel like a brat that night man they were all up on when Ross performed him and Humble and I don't know who else was up there they are up on stage like in the you know what I mean in the back yeah, yeah, of Ross yeah, yeah, and I yeah, was joint. on the side Cause I, I didn't like Ross. Then. I actually like Ross now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell like, it, baby. I, I didn't like him then. in his performance that night. He was barely rapping. He was just yeah, and smoking and yeah, I was walking just, around. I was just, like on the Stor side of the stage, like story yeah. behind that though. Like shout out Rick Ross though. That was on uh, the Century Center's end because he was supposed to be paid in cash. And they were trying to give him tickets or a check or whatever from the Yeah, we don't sale. take checks. Yeah, it's like, nah, this is the case. So, yeah, he basically did his half hour what he was obligated and rolled Smoking out. Smoking and chilling. <laughs> yeah, rolled out. Crazy, man. But it was still a dope time. Black Monsters held it down. I still got oh, some yeah. old footage of that somewhere. I love Black Monsters, mm -hmm. man. I don't even got no footage of our performance that night. Was Cole, Cole was there, too? Yeah, oh, was yeah, it the just whole, yeah, the whole block mm -hmm. was there that night. Yep, yep. I love Snub, man. Shout out to Snub, man. Oh, That's yeah. my favorite, the man. Black. I fuck with Snub Heavy, man. So was that the big boy performances, the Ice T, Rakims, and Ross? Man, we got under our belt now is crazy. Like we just, speak of Wu Tang, that's probably the biggest <clears throat> joint we did. The breaks. We just did the breaks festival in Chicago a few years <clears throat> back. The entire Wu Tang, minus ODB, rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. But it had Wu Tang, uh, Talib Kweli, Most Def, Vic Mensa, Currency. I fuck with Vic Mensa, yeah. Tom McDonald, Token. Token's dope as uh, fuck too, yo. Man, who uh shout out some of the other uh underground cats, Al Coleone. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. And that was that was that was that, that was the festival, you know, like a bit yeah, yeah, yeah festival. Like that yeah, was yeah. that I was mean, dope, dope. But I think it's like close, you know, up in the like, probably high twenties. But honestly, like uh, the ones we brought here, like cannabis, we bring cannabis, Afro cannabis. Man, and halftime, you know, and bringing these kind yeah, of right. names yeah, like that. Yeah, but the Wu Tang Onyx. joint for you, I probably was probably oh, we both, fucking oh, everything. Yeah, yo. We we uh we performed early, got a little tipsy and went back to the hotel and smoked and stuff, and then we're like we gotta go back, dude. Gotta so go we back. We gotta go back. Yeah, we, we got there right in we, time. We caught we caught the end of Talib and them set, mm. and then and right Yasmin, in time yeah. for Wu Tang. You get no pictures with them either, yo. No, just some cool shit. No, yeah. That that's on some another 
janky promoting. But it was a dude. But, but it was, was it, it, amazing. Did, all that shit was irrelevant. Like the amazing. way like, behind the scenes, the, a lot of people know how. Because they did shit the go. whole thirty six chambers, just the thirty six chambers, crazy. and it was just like every word but just they, came back to you. You know what I mean? Because the energy behind oh, yeah, it, it the love, fucking like, love Wu Tang, man. Was nasty. I honestly didn't know how many people were even watching us. You know what I mean? But yeah. when we got off stage and like all the love we got, like everybody coming up to us, like hell hey, man, that yeah. shit was dope. Hell we, we, yeah, was, man. Like, Method like, Man was there. Everybody. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole yeah, fucking jizz yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Ghostface was there. Yes, sir. Oh the my squad. god! I posted some of the performance on Facebook. That's some of their shit. I love them motherfuckers. Oh, Freddie man. Gibbs was there. Shout yeah. out Freddie Gibbs, man, Indiana boy, man. Uh, it was huge. I said, yeah, man, it was a gang of people. I'm probably still forgetting a couple, but yeah, yeah. it was dope. That was probably our yeah. our uh, what do you want to say? Utopia. One, we brought, yeah, yeah, we brought <laughs> of shows right there. Onyx to Fever. It was a Thursday mm. night, wasn't it? I remember when yeah, Onyx yeah, came yeah, to the yo. Fever. There's like 12 people there. Crazy. Like, come man. on, y'all. It's Onyx. I, I know, mean, even man. though they're older, but come, it's Onyx. Yeah, D. And, and they shit. put on one of the best shows I've ever seen. Yeah, they, Sticky and Fredo yeah. Star, dude. It's crazy. Sticky's on the speakers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was, yeah, it was dope. South Bend, man. Shout out, Elemanic was on that bill. Yeah. Uh, uh, Manny, yeah. man. Who else? Click Clack. Uh, I remember oh, Click Clack too, yo. Man, who else was on that joint? Breon had a slot. Breon, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the scene like, in your opinion, what was the scene like, the hip hop scene back then? Because it's different now. Oh yeah, because I'm I'm Most I'm death. I'm locked in with the young bucks now that's rocking and shit and doing yeah, their thing. Like yeah, I'm, right. I stay locked in with the the the, the youth and shit. Uh -huh. But back then it was fucking different, man. Yeah, right. And your in your own words, how could you describe the hip hop scene back then and what was going on? Uh I think, man, back then it was uh, shit. More about I don't know. For starters, we all more about individuality. For starters, very like, true. we were all very our own true. entities. We, our groups were all. You, you're going to tell us apart. You're going to tell. Without I mean, and I'm not hating because I like new shit. There's new shit too. I yeah, like. Yeah, I don't, I'm not yeah, going to hate on all. I'm not going to say and this all this new. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, not Some at old all. Old hater. No, there's dope new shit. But we just were all very and like I said, you know what I mean. Distinct, we all were our own, huh? Distinct from each right. other. It yeah, different. and it's it more about bars and lyrics back then. You know, true. I get there's a vibe. It's more musically I'll now. now true. You know what I mean? That's true, yeah. which is cool in true. a way. Now but it's uh, more about a vibe, yeah. Yeah, and I felt maybe we uh, had a little more respect for each other back then. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? there's more of a code, and we, we were pushing. Homage. Yeah, yeah, props No, because real shit, because, like, man, to tell you the truth, I probably said what up to y'all here and there, but it wasn't like... You know, we didn't kick it like that, no, but we, right, it was yeah, always yeah. right. It was always we love. salute. Doing you know what I'm saying? Thing. Yeah, you know I mean? salute. Respect. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Always respect. love. You know what I'm saying? We do what we do. Y'all do what y'all do, and Matter it was fact, love. I remember the first uh, first show y'all invited us to was at the Cove. Uh, oh, up in the upper deck. Oh, that was remember? cold. Yeah, I forgot about that. I, I just show. remember that when you got to talk about. I was like, yeah, I remember that shit. LC too. one was, was there, man. Yep, yep, that was cold. Damn, Cove was there. I remember him being there that night. Infrared, and infrared fucking yeah. the boys yeah, yeah. yeah. shout out soul soul man and just to add to that the only thing now though and i'm, I'm not it's not like an old hater fuck that hate <laughs> <laughs> but like just some of like like uh there was a difference some man. of the bar like like some of these guys are getting a cypher to get laughed out without a motherfucking I mean, I mean, you know doubt what I mean? they yo. might put Facts. on a good song yeah Facts. but Maybe they make a good song, good one, yeah. single hit, but if they're going to be, you know, MC's rap, and they're, they're getting a cypher with that shit. And, and Man, <laughs> to keep it G with you, ha it's, a, it's a different generation, and they're, you know, they're built a little different, too, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's no shade with that, but they wouldn't even be social enough to even come into that circle. Oh, right. 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 They would you know just I mean? be chilling yeah. and just yeah. watch yep. and shit and buy their yeah. head and be yeah, whatever. Probably videotape it? Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know like, like, yeah. Probably videotape Like and, they, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and now though, man, I mean, and you know, we all know, it, it was harder to get in the studio back then. It was harder to, to actually press yeah. up a CD and True. get it out. <laughs> True. <laughs> you up. can... Make your own beat. The way they make beats now, and the way you can yeah, it's record, crazy. it's it's just it's like self taught. Yeah. Go back you got to yeah, we had an actual producer. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. motherfuckers yeah. playing instruments yeah. and shit. I mean, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, I mean, and just the way they had to, things had to be done, even making beats back then. You're punching buttons and and stuff. I mean, it's it's just a totally different. It's you know totally I mean? different. It, it, a lot yeah. more work went into it. Tons, man. Yeah, tons. A, a lot of creativity, I'd say. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, but man. I mean, there's still good. There's still good stuff being made. Hell yeah, There's a lot of good stuff being made. Fucking happy fifty. Fucking. 
birthday. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop, yeah, baby. Yeah. 50 and forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And back when we were doing it, it was like everybody's trying to be a rapper. Now it's like, no, now everybody. Every, yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? When we when we first started rocking, there really wasn't too much, much. No. Nah. It, it was really like uh Man, it was a selective mm -hmm. few, you know what I'm saying? I remember me and Ghost had, uh, we're talking on Facebook one time about that, about like, yeah, like it used to be, you've always had to dig through the crates or whatever. Yeah, man. But like the crates were a lot smaller back then. True, man. <laughs> you know? True, man. You could count, like, as far as local artists, you could, you pretty much knew who they were. Yeah, hell you know yeah. I mean? like, hell the yeah. people who were doing it, you, you knew who they were. And we'd always bump into each other, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Show here, show there, yeah, rock yeah. here, rock there, you know what I'm saying? A rock with each other to show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, put on a show. Yeah, put on an actual show. Mm -hmm. Now, in your uh, own words, how would you describe the hip hop scene back then compared to now, as far as in uh, the the show, the actual events? A lot, man. Is I mean, no disrespect to nobody, but like you said, like they're not really putting time into the show. They're just trying to get. They know a few people that want to perform. They just get there. They rap. They play a DJ. And, I mean, it's, yeah. it's a rap. You know what yeah. I mean? Like they don't. Yeah. Like people don't. The show, the reason we got the crowds and stuff we got back in the day is because we promoted a month straight. We didn't do a show every weekend. No. We did. No. We would do a show like once a month, once every other month, and just promote it heavy. Heavy And, as and fuck. we're talking not just Facebook. And, radio. Yeah, flyers radio. Against. Physical yes. flyers yes. everywhere. Yes. I mean, we, yes. we was on the grind for real, like yeah. getting out there. Where did you just go to get the copies? Kinko's. 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 Yeah. Come on, now. <laughs> Come we on, now. We all went to Kinko's. Kinko's. They was like pink, yellow, blue. You know what I'm saying? You remember them papers? Hey, Ten cents shit. a copy, yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that was we, my we shit. We didn't know about Club Fires and all that shit nah, at first. Nah, we started nah, fucking nah. with them later, but yeah, yeah, it was Kinkos. Kinkos, man, that was the joint. What what I what I imagine from from then and now is the the actual shows, because um, you know, nine times out of ten, when you put on a show, there's be people in the motherfucking building, man. Right. Like in the building, the building. We'd have 400 at the PNA every exactly. fucking weekend, yeah. yo. Exactly. The attendance Back is definitely. Factory was like. 300 275 rocking that motherfucker and i think a lot of that goes back to what i was saying i think they started getting uh too many shows like everybody saturated was doing, you know, yeah, yeah it was yeah, yeah. out and then too yeah. many on the bill you like, have, like okay. 12 acts on yeah. a bill like yeah. come on no intermission it, you know what i'm saying we used no to always keep it like we when we had y'all we'd always keep it maybe five Y'all, yeah. Lunatic, LC, the LC. one other one that's a rap yeah. 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 or yeah. next one be seven star yeah Breon. And who are, and you're like, yeah, like Devil Man, four or five people, it's a rap. Yeah. And no, then I agree. just put on a dope show and, and have, have a, a dope DJ for in between so people can yeah. get up and dance and have Hell a good time yeah. and some contests. Yeah. have some other entertainment of... other than just the music. Mm -hmm. Like when we did our Halloween shows, which hopefully I got to announce when we're going to be doing one here again. That's what's up, soon. man. But when we used to do our annual Halloween shows, man, we put a lot of effort oh, yeah. into that. Yeah. Like a lot. We had the uh, super villains at the uh, super villain fashion tour. Yeah, at Club mm. Rumor. Shout out Club Rumor. Uh, yeah, like we all did the the super villains. Everybody dressed up. I was the Riddler. He was the Joker. Threshold nice. was the Pink nice. Man. Uh, Mike from United Vibes was Two Face. Humble was Scarecrow. Yeah, yeah. And I went all out, dude. I spent yeah. so yeah. much money, made all these outfits. <laughs> yeah. Right. A Joker, Jack in the Box, the whole stage. And nice. And y'all rock like that too, right? Yeah, yeah. Used but, the, but going back to perform. The sound guy the we sound, had, it was right. fucking horrible. Yeah, you know what? It so was it so just, hard to was, find was, a good sound oh, guy. Yeah. I specifically would always throw in the writer or whatever you know what I'm saying contract that I need a fucking sound check. There you go. Right. Period. You go. Yeah. I yeah. always I mean, did that shit, yo. Yep. That's Fuck that. Worst Shout out, uh, what Yans at Cheers? That old with the white hair, white wolf. Yeah. That motherfucking and yeah. Tony yeah. Bayless. Well, dude was in a time. band. Yeah. He was a right, band dude. Right. He knew sound. You there know you what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Tony Bayless. He's the same <laughs> way. See, like he used to do uh, sound for Charlie Daniels band. And yeah, stuff like you that know. Back in the yeah. You see like an old ass wrinkly white dude. Go with to him. Tail. Yes. Yeah, dude, he's the one. He's the one. Yeah. He's the. He's doing my sound. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. When you see the young dude with like his slits in his eyebrows and shit, you might want to stay fuck away from. Like nah, bro. This ain't that. Nah, that's real, man. No, that's definitely real. Sound check was important. Right. And and the fact that y'all would even fucking rehearse that shit was dope because. Back, back then, too. as y'all know, it's a little bit different now. You know what I'm saying? No shade, but I'm throwing fucking shade. <laughs> it's like karaoke night with them. Right. See, right. but karaoke, you're reading the lyrics. They're not there. They're yeah. Not, but you're just singing over with it. your CD. Right. Yeah, man. And a lot of times, they're not even doing that. They're just up there like, yeah. 
Yeah. Doing ad libs yeah. to the song. And yeah. jumping around. We yeah. had backtracks. If y'all don't know what yeah. backtracks right. are. Have back tracks, yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. the hook in there. Yeah. You can have the hook in there, yeah. but come yeah. on, man. Spit your verse. Spit that shit. And yeah. People and pay the money to see you perform. Exactly. And then when you got your, you know, your boys up there with you, you got three dudes with the mic and you got your vocals going. It just becomes too much. clash. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, should, and, it's, and how can rappers get away with that and a singer goes up there know. and they'll get laughed off the stage? Yeah. Right. No. And they're singing and yeah. probably playing an instrument. Yeah. It's different, man. <laughs> it's different, man. It's different. And definitely when you got all them people on stage, you get that feedback yeah, where you right. got to get away from your mans real quick because right. of that right. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And depending on the sound, they probably got no monitors. They can't no. hear themselves. So Hell they're just no. up there. Ah, yeah. And their vocals, too. Yeah. And, and they eat the mic. That's another thing <laughs> eat about Eat the shows. fucking mic, yo. You know what I'm talking about, yo. Another thing about shows nowadays. Nobody uses floor monitors. Yeah. You need all those to hear yeah. yourself. You got to hear yourself, stuff, man. They don't got no floor monitors. Not at all. man. Artists need to be able to hear themselves. No, they have the big speakers. You know what I'm right. saying? It's Up on stilts and shit. You know what I'm saying? DJing. For DJing. For right. DJing. It's more of a DJ. Exactly. Dancing and just listening. Exactly, man. Yeah. No, and a good a good sound is everything. It'll yeah, make like or break a, a show. You know, advice to up and coming artists. Please. Get a good sound, man. Right. <laughs> Get that old dude with the ponytail. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Right. Right. There you go. That's real, man. Yeah. Yeah. So as the grind continue to go and go and go, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and just the overall vibe of everything just was taking place. In your opinion, what would be the best, and I'm going to ask you the same thing, what would be the best uh, thing that you could say that you love the most, performing or actually um, recording the actual record? Man. It's a great question. I'll say that's a hard question because <clears throat> as sometimes I feel like DMX said on, uh, what was that, backstage or whatever, where he said that hour on stage, that's all he does it for. Because True. that hour on stage is everything. Like yeah. That's why you do all the writing that the you work, do the is grind, for, yeah. that, for, for that response you get True. when you get up there and perform it. But I also like the creative process. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, that's the thing too. That I think is changing the game. I liked when, like, when we did the resume and we did all of our albums. Like, we was sat locked there, in. Like, we sat there in and there. wrote the shit together. Yeah. Like now, all these collabs are just. I'll send you the verse. Yeah. And I'll send you. Uh, I'll send you the beat. You uh, give you a concept. And we guilty of it now too, you know what I mean? True, that's, true, You know, true. families, that's how it Kids, is, you know what no, I'm saying? Life is yeah. life. Work, yeah. But I like the creativeness better, yeah. Like when you in the studio with whoever you're working with yeah. and you come up with the concept and it's just that vibe. You just shit on the spot. Like you just come up with whatever. The dopest shit too, some man. Some of the yeah. illest shit ever. Yeah. just right there yeah. spontaneous. We happen to be linked up like, you know what? Man, let's, throw, let's throw a track on, man. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Let's write. With. Yeah. Same question, my man. What do you love most, the performance aspect or the creative yeah. process of it? Man, it's it's like this. Is it a balance? Yeah, I mean, because there's times performing, like, yeah, when, man, yeah, it's just, yeah. When the crowd's Every feeling time. it. When the crowd's feeling it, we're on point and, right. and, and we know it. And, yeah, and uh, the creative process, too, man, just making music, coming up with shit, yeah. writing verses, coming up. Yeah, I mean. I always tell people, man, like, there was no better feeling or no better place in the world at the moment, at the time, of just being in that basement. Right. Oh, yeah. And you got like 15 motherfuckers around you and right. shit. You know what I'm saying? They all got yellow notepads and shit, and we just Vibing get it. Out. You know what I'm saying? Who got that shit, you know? Keeping the lights low. Keeping yeah, the oh, hell yeah. Remember going to like, Smoke in the air and shit. Going to the studio and making the beat, recording the, make, you know what I mean? Right. Picking out the sample, making the beat, yeah. record, writing it, then recording it that day, yeah. like sitting in there like that. A lot yeah, of artists man. say they want to you know? do it and then they go through that and they're like, man, y'all really do this for every song? Yeah. Like, we got to sit here and listen to this track over and over and, and over, over and over. And over. <laughs> it's writing for you, man. Yeah, right. man. No, it was everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This That's next right. segment we're going to get into is called Concrete Topic Questions. Ah, I'm going to give you a couple names. <laughs> almost like a rapid fire joint mm -hmm. you can elaborate on it a little bit you know what i'm saying i'm gonna give you a couple names the first thing comes to mind you go ahead and blurt it out all right, <laughs> all right y'all ready for this yeah. all, right, all right we're gonna get it in hold on people see people calling me because they know you in the building man <laughs> that's what it is people calling because they know you in the building no that's low hold on oh he hung up never mind i was gonna get low on here yo yo low oh he ain't there hold on yo low Yo, I got Sin and Crook in the building, man. Say what up. What up, <laughs> what, up what up? What up? Yo, I'm in the interview real quick. I'm gonna call you back, man. Let me ask you a question. First thing comes to mind when you uh, when you uh, think of Sin and Crook. What's the first thing you think about? Damn, bars. <laughs> you know, said number That's bars. Love. That's what's up, love, man. Love, I'm gonna love. call you back. All right. All right. All right. 
That's low, man. That's what's up, man. Oh, yeah. That's a good compliment, man. Hell you about yeah. to drop a nasty video. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Definitely, man. Y'all more, y'all, y'all yeah, more welcome, yeah, man. Yeah, Shit, come right. through. Yeah, Fuck, yeah, it's right more on. welcome. Concrete topic questions with Sin and motherfucking Crook. All right, let's go. Ask a couple names. I'm going to start with you, Sin, and I'm going to get to you. You know what I'm saying? First thing comes to mind, okay? Comain. Killing it, man! Like, and all honestly, like I look at Comain as one of the more, the most versatile artists around here. <clears throat> like, because he he can do the tongue twisting. Yeah, he can do the East Coast hip hop, pure hip hop shit. Got you. He can do tracks for his girl. Yeah, like to, talking about your girl, just light real life shit. And yeah. And as far as catalogs, ain't too many cats fucking with. Comain. No, he's got catalog, a catalog. He got a big catalog. Saying? No, definitely. He, he got he got a dope ass catalog. That's a great answer, man. Mm-hmm. Crook, same. I'm gonna give you the give you a, a name. First thing comes to mind, you go ahead and blurt it out. All right. Go. Devil man. <laughs> uh, battle rapper man. There that's, you go. That, that, yeah, there you go. Yeah. For you, man. And, that was uh, the boy. Yeah, dude's got bars and uh, the voice and the character. Right. You Very know what much I mean? so. The character. He's and funny. it's fucking He's him fucking too. Right. It's him. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking funny. him. He's a funny <laughs> fucking dude. Man. Fucking love right. Devil man. Too, man. Shout yeah. out to Devil man. Wherever Shout you at, me, man, I'm gonna have to get you out of that rock. Get you back in the there game, boy. Cause that <laughs> motherfucker was serious. Yeah. Next question we are gonna give to you, Stucky boy. Stucky boy, man. We've done a lot of shows with Stucky, but uh, we ain't never collabed or nothing. But but no, nah, like his grind, hustler. Oh, yeah. Hustler, yeah, no, he gets it, man. And like, uh, what was that one joint he did? Uh, outside, block outside. The block outside. That's my man, shit, quit yo. Playing. That shit was cold. That's my that was, shit, yo. That was some straight up young Jeezy. That's my like, shit. Type shit, you know what I'm saying? I got like, the block outside. Yeah. That motherfucker was like, yeah. I got, as far as Stucky, yeah, just, just Stucky, pure hustler. Yeah, yeah. Crook, I'm ball gonna go to team. you. Ball, ball team, team all day. Shout out ball teams. Crook, I'm gonna give you another name. D-Lo Flex Kid. First thing comes to mind. And another character, like his own entity. Yeah, like there's man. Not, there's not another D. No, hell right, no. You know what I mean? Hell Voice no. wise, flow wise. And one on one. Man, with this new video he's coming out, I'm eager to hear, man. I'm yeah. eager to hear his new stuff. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? Man. I want to. D-Lo real versatile, too. Yeah, no, you very much. Saying? Fucking chameleon. He does. To fuck, he can do it. Hardcore gangster shit. Country to, rock. Right. Like, fuck, like, no so shit. Yeah, you got to give him that, too. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely a bipolar when it comes to music, man. <laughs> right. He gets it in, man. Next question, I'm going to give you Ghost with the Most. First thing that comes to mind. Oh, man, I remember telling uh, DJ TJ back in the day. Ghost, Shout out DJ TJT. Uh, Ghost, one of my favorite lyricists around here. That's what's up. That's like, what's I up. like ghost shit, like his his lyrics and stuff, and his and his uh his stories, like his his story, yeah, and like it, it, the feel behind his music, like you feel everything. As a matter of fact, I seen you talking about it on uh, asking D'Lo that, and I, yeah, like the, his feeling and emotion behind it, all of his tracks is is dope. Yeah, yeah he's one of them. I, man. He's I share his shit anytime he posts shit. Yeah, he's definitely one of them. Next question I'm gonna get to you. First thing, cut. First thing comes to mind. Go ahead and blur the Illmatic, man. Oh, Manny. Manny. Trimble. Grimy. <laughs> that dog, man. Grimy, that voice, man. That murdering voice. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, he right. just had that cold yeah. blood voice, man. Oh, yeah. Zilla. Zilla. Oh, Zilla. Heavy in the yeah. 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 I love Illa, yes, man. Sir. Yeah, yeah. I got a couple tracks with Manny, man. Yeah, oh, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, man. That's what I said, family. Yeah. Shout there out to go. Manny, yeah. man. Shout out yeah. to Manny, man. Straight Illmatic, out. man. Love you, man. Definitely, man. One yes, of them sir. dudes. Next question I'm going to give you. This is going to be a good one. This is somebody that's that's kind of... Somebody that I always considered uh, one of them dudes that definitely spit and uh, definitely um, somebody that was uh, the show performance of him was just immaculate and rest in peace. Money love. Mm. Oh, man. Money motherfucking love. Yeah, man. like you said. What well, man, outside of music, most loving, caring, happy dude for the shit he been through. Yeah, man. Most happiest dude I've ever met. Good hey, dude, man. Like when... uh. From the first time I met him and stuff, uh, he was one of the first ones out the click, other than Jay Lunatic and shit. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I grew I grew up with Steve. Uh, uh, Money, Money P. P. Yeah, yeah, that's my dog. But uh, but yeah, like Money Love was one of the first ones to like show me love, love. Like, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he was he always had. My, we never got to make a track like we wanted yeah, to. But yeah. yeah, he's one of them, man. Yes, sir. I'm gonna give you the same name, Money P, man. Money P. Money or not Money P, but Money, Money Love. love. Okay. Yeah, Money yeah, Love. Yeah, yeah. Uh, should I remember back in uh. Career Center, the uh, GD program. Yeah. Sean McNeil would always, like, this, you know, yeah. like, check out, because me and him, like, woo, so it, yeah. but Money and them would be rapping, 
and he's like, check this dude, like, we're rap with them yeah. and stuff. And that's when I first met him. And then through shows and doing everything else like that. But yeah, solid ass dude, man. Every Love Money P, him. man. We did Rest have that P. cipher at the end of Lunatic's uh, tiptoe video that's still on YouTube where uh, I did. Oh, the letter, yeah. I you did D, D, D and, and he, and he spit a verse. Yeah. Yeah. Right after yeah. yeah, yeah, that's them boys. It's like man. 360 bars. Yeah, yeah, he went. <laughs> that's them boys, <laughs> man. Now, being a group, I got to give you a group name because y'all definitely a group. So I'm going to give you a group name Block Monsters. Oh, man. Legend. Yeah. Legend. Yeah. I mean, as far as hip hop groups go around here, yeah. They man. was them, man. Yeah. They was them. I man. mean, y'all do I think of hip hop groups, I think of y'all are uh Black Monsters, Mo Yeah, Shine, yeah, yeah. Black's like the dog pound of South Bend. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like the dog yeah. pound yeah. of South yeah, Bend, man. man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to the block, man. Definitely, yeah. man. I'm next one I'm gonna give to you, man. Mo Shine Records, man. First thing <laughs> comes a motherfucking mind. <laughs> And y'all had like every aspect, of yeah. All the elements, true. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? You true. guys had all the elements, man. You had Dope, the bars, man. you had the, you had you with the singles and for the ladies you. and shit like Appreciate that and stuff you, like that. And the branching off the syndicate. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The way y'all yeah. moved together, man, it was a unit. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? It was yeah. dope. You know? Yeah, you know, it was definitely uh, solid. Like. I don't know, more than solid. But you know what I mean? Y'all were just a unit. The fucking Fuck, there was... Mafia, man. man ma you know that's I mean? a great way to put it, <laughs> man. Yeah, the fucking man. mafia. The, pre the presence. Yeah, I mean, we had... The presence yeah, yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, we had yeah. IG, which was uh, XL. Yeah, shout Black out XL. Black and Mild. Yep, yep, yeah, Black and Mild. Cage. Yup. And then we had Soul, Vic, and yep. in, uh, which was Infrared and Trig. But Trig was locked Shout up. He Trig, home now. Yep, love yep, Trig, sir. man. That's my Damn, dog. That's we had right. Dime Piece, Co-Main, Stucky Boy, Piece, Money P, Ghost with the minute. Most. Right, man, man. man. those are fucking all-star cast. All right, man. All yeah. day. Yeah. If you could take one, this is one of the last questions. If you could take one of the new artists from this area and put them back then, which one do you think would, uh, in your opinion, would like I, rise? Would, would, uh, yeah, would have uh, held that on, held, held that shit. Us. Yeah. Man, that's a great fucking say, question. That's a real good question. Like, if you could take one of them from now and bring them back down when we was rocking, you know what I'm saying? As far as uh, I mean, I guess some people would consider him a vet now per se. But, yeah. Uh, as far as performance wise, man, my dude Aaron. Aaron, okay, I know who you're talking he put about. Put on a dope show. Yeah. Like uh, but again, some I don't know if you, some people consider him new school, old school, or what. Yeah. But as far as performance, I think he would have been hung good as far as putting on the good showmanship. And he's like, that's his whole model. Love shown is love got. And yeah. he, he would have, he was coming up when we were just starting to kind of fall back because he was younger. Got you. Know? you. Oh, yeah. Got so you. Get, See? Uh, we didn't yeah. get to go into the show. Like, yeah. I, by the time he was doing shit, I was basically hosting shows. Yeah. You know what yep. I'm saying? With yep. King Rob yep. and shit yep. like yep. that. Yep. And, uh, but yeah, as he, I remember when we did that little white show with him. I told him I was like, man, if I had a chain to like just put over, you know, what I'm yeah. saying, pass the torch yeah. as far as that would COB be the one. That's what's up, like, man. Who somebody who actually, I don't, you know, I, I like to think he took some of my advice and stuff like that. That's like, what's up. Like yeah, he, he put thought into his performance. Like, yeah, yeah that's like, dope. you know what I mean. That's and again, dope. his grind too. Like he's done some things that a lot. Like when he did that track with, I, he got money love. I think for that he track. got money love on the joint and uh, he had like what 15 cats or yeah, 10 like, cats on that one I can't joint. remember the name of the Man. track but, but yeah like his grind too so yeah I gotta I got give the get yeah, homeboy in school. there yeah he'd be one of them right same question if you can bring somebody from you know what I'm saying from yeah. a now situation back then who would that would person John be John be new school I see again. Yeah, yeah. man. Like, dude, he's I been just around with John okay. Allen. Man, yo, that Project. motherfucker's right. That's yeah. what I say. See, because like, John, some people would consider yeah. him old school. But yo, some but that video y'all did, that him. shit was yeah, correct. We just yeah. did out on the Joint Project, man. But yeah. no, yeah, well, John got like bars. Yeah, he like, got bars. bars. I take him. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. bars. Oh, yeah. he would do well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He would be the. He'd be. There would be Sin Crook and Allen. I think, man, that would have been them. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Yeah, we gonna get the last question for both of y'all. I'm gonna ask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with my man here first. Sin, if you could have one conversation with one person and one person only, dead or alive, for thirty minutes, who would that person be? Oh man, I got great questions on here, Jeez, man. I man, heard that, like, man. I know. I fucking <laughs> shit up now, baby. Come on now. Come on Jesus. now, Kirk. Jesus, oh, you took my talk to <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's what's up, man. <laughs> Jesus. That's what's up. I need. I need answers. I. I, I yeah. That was. I, Jesus, that's the ultimate wisdom. To. No, definitely. Through him, Dude, I can talk to everybody else. I have gotten that same answer on multiple occasions. I'm so serious about that too, man. That's beautiful. Exactly. Crook, same thing. We going with we going with Jay. Yeah, man. That's I mean, what's yeah. up, man. You talk to anybody. Who else anybody would you talk? That alive, like. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's, that's what's up. That's what's up. Love that's my family, it. love my people. But that's what's up. I, if I can talk Straight to him, up. I feel like I'll be able to talk to everybody else. Okay, man, there I appreciate it, man. I appreciate <laughs> for y'all coming in. Definitely, yeah, man. Yeah. It's definitely been a beautiful time. Fucking vets, man. Definitely, man. C O E to South Bend. Yes, sir. Um, I definitely watch these man rise up and definitely rock the fucking party, man, and Before do what they fuck. Still on every all streaming services. Oh, they yeah. send the most deadly. Apes <clears throat> the most deadly on all streaming services. Robbie Crook, uh, Mono, Mono Blue, Blue, Robbie Crook, John Allen, services. the Joint John, Project. That motherfucker's yes, cold, sir. man. Robbie Crook, John, Joint Project, Sin Most Deadly. That's what's up, Mono. man. Follow us on all social media. At That's City what's Crook. up. That's yeah, what's up, man. I appreciate it for y'all coming through, showing effort, showing it's definitely uh, hey, brought me back us. to memory lane. Yeah, yeah, you know man, what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, yeah, man. Always a good time, man. And, always. And I can't wait to see... Uh, the next situation of y'all rocking and rolling, man, because that's a beautiful thing because I love seeing people that I've known from back in the day continue to have that in their heart and still have that passion and still rock real music. shit, yeah, man. Yeah, we steady been making music. We yeah, just man. ain't been doing the shows like we used no, to do. No, I feel you, man. I feel you, man. Always. God bless y'all. God bless y'all journey, man. Check these boys out. Sin and Crook, definitely vets in the game. They definitely got bars because yes, fucking bars still fucking matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's point blank, period. I appreciate yeah, y'all, man. Right. Definitely, yeah, man. man. Appreciate everybody for checking out the motherfucking show. This is your boy John John Villanueva, and we out of here like we stole something. Two motherfucking fingers. <laughs>